so far we have placed the grid we have also created first we have created levels then we have created the grid then we have placed the foundations and columns now it's time to add the beam or we can say framing right so if you will be going to this pdf our foundation beam layout is available at here so here you can see this is our foundation beam layout right so one beam is from here to here another beam is from here to here and so on now what are this what is the size of this foundation beam layout so if you open the section one so here you can see the size of the foundation beam is 2 feet 6 inches by 1 feet so 2 feet 6 inches that is depth as you can see 2 feet 6 inches that is depth because this is our section and 1 feet is the width so what we can do we can go to the structure tab and we can use the beam command okay but right now as you can see we are going to see only the steel beam so same as the column we need to load the family but this time we will go to the structural framing folder so going to the structural framing concrete and concrete rectangular beam and uh, let me go to the edit type duplicate and let me use uh, first it will be use the depth so 2 feet 6 inches by capital X by 1 feet so 2 feet 6 inches by 1 feet so depth uh, that is edge is 2 feet 6 inches and width is 1 feet how you will be able to see what is the width and what is the depth if you go to the preview and if you go into the any one of the elevation so here you can see if I am selecting the B this is my B and this is my edge okay so by this way you can identify it what is the B and what is the edge so if you go into the PDF we have two sizes one is 2 feet 6 inches by 1 feet and uh, another uh, is uh, 2 feet 6 inch by 8 inch so that will be same but width is 8 inch okay so we will go to the Revit duplicate 2 feet 6 inch by 8 inches and 2 feet 6 inches will be remain same but that will be 8 inches and click OK and now we will start to place the beam so one beam is at grid A from here to here so what we can do we can click the intersection of this to intersection of this and make sure uh, we will be place this at uh, structural foundation beam so here if you will be part of one section right and uh, so open the section as you can see this is my beam but uh, you can see this beam is not proper so select the beam right now what is the level footing okay but uh, we will uh, use the uh, structural foundation beam from which level as you can see if I will be open the section it is placing from the level level 2 okay so we will use the level 2 okay so what we will do we will go to the level 2 plan view like right now let me remove this we will go to the level 2 plan view structural floor plan level 2 and we will use the beam command same let's say uh, 2 feet 6 inches by 1 feet from here to here and before placing as you can see reference level is uh, reference level is level 2 so let me use level 2 okay and then we will start to place the beam and now if I will be going to the section view let's say creating a one section and open that section view selecting the section right click go to view as you can see this is my beam right but uh, here what is the problem my beam is uh, place exactly at level 2 but we want to keep the 6 inch offset as you can see the beam is also 6 feet 6 inches offset so selecting it 
स्टार्ट लेवल ऑफसेट माइनस सिक्स इंच एंड लेवल ऑफसेट माइनस सिक्स इंच so my beam is now placed at this level okay now similarly what we can do we can go to the level 2 plan view and uh, let me copy this beam from here to here 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 and here we will modify it if it is required now let us we will modify it so if i will be going to the plan view here you can see my beam is only from grid 1 to grid 3 so grid 1 to grid 3 so i am selecting the beam click and drag up to grid 3 okay similarly here you can see grid 3 to grid 4 only so grid 3 to grid 4 select the beam and stretch okay similarly here it is full which we have placed here it is up to grid 2 to 4, right? So we will go to the Revit from here 2 to 4. Similarly, at here it is also 2 uh, to 4. At A it is full side place. B it is this side place. C it is one side. D it is full side. at d it is full side right as you can see d it is full side so d it is full side then e this grid this side b we do not have the beam and at f okay at f what is that from here to here 2 feet 7 3 by 8 inches so what we can do we can just stretch approximately and now we will give the dimension how to give a dimension going to the annotate dimension from grid to end point of the beam right now in my case it is 5 feet but in your case it may be vary so select it and change 2 feet 7 3 by 8 inches so 2 space 7 space 3 by 8 you can also write like this and on join the element here you can see it is going exit so let we exit or let we close at here right okay now our next step is uh here we have 8 inches size right so selecting this beam change the size 2 feet 6 inch by 8 inches so as you can see it is now 8 inches how to give a dimension dimension from this point to this point as you can see it is 8 inches right and here it is 1 feet good now let us we will create the vertical beam so vertical beam let's say from grid number 1 to grid number uh, up to d so selecting this beam and uh, what we can do we can also make a copy and i want to also show you one more command that is rotate the com rotate the beam so select the beam rotate let's say from this point so this is my horizontal and vertical angle is 90 degree now move this beam from this point constraint of right now temporary and place at here okay so this is my one beam is placed from here to here up to grid number d as you can see then after here also beam is there here is also beam is there at grid 3 and 4 so we can select the beam click on copy from 1 to 3 and 4 right and this two beam extend up to uh this beam is extend up to grid e so let we extend up to grid e point in vertical okay now here we also have another beam right so that beam is 8 inches so what we can do we can copy this beam see i am showing you very different manner by just drawing 
I am showing you a different manner. Copy paste. So just stretch to the downward direction and move to the beam from center to the grid intersection. And now, as you can see, this is my eight inches beam, right? This is also my eight inches, but this beam is located at certain distance. So let me approximate copy it. Copy it from here to here. Okay. Now, what you can do? You can select it, or you can give a dimension. Dimension di from this grid to the center of the beam. Right now, it is two feet six inches. In case one feet six one by two inch. So select the beam first. If you directly do the double click, it will not edit the dimension. So what you can do? Select the beam first. In Ravi, whatever the element turn to blue, you can edit it. Now one space six space one by two. Okay. So this is how you will be placed the beam. So as you can see, this beam is placed, this beam is placed, all the beams are placed, and uh, here we also have uh, these two beam. Okay. So let me copy this beam. Approximate distance, no problem. And uh, here we also have the vertical beam, right? So let me copy this beam. Now we can also use the trim command. So trim. So go to modify and trim extend to corner. Right. So we can click on trim extend to corner, selecting the beam, selecting the beam. So as you can see now it is trim, but this beam is uh, going so much far. So let me stretch to up to here. Then uh, this is also going so much far. We can also stretch up to here. But let me show you another way. Trim. Extend. See, if I am using trim extend to corner and selecting this corner and this corner, as you can see, it is happening like this, which I don't want. So I can use trim extend to single element. Select the reference that is this beam and select the element that you want to keep. So this element. Okay. Now we can also use the trim extend to corner this and this. So now, as you can see, now it is exactly matching like this, this, this. The shape is exactly matching. Okay. Let me check once again whether all the beams has been created or not. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six vertical. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So all that beams now created. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So our beams are created. Let me visualize the beam in our 3D view. So let me go to 3D view. As you can see, this is our structure. That what it should be look like. Okay. Now next thing is we need to create a foundation.